as you say. Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. It's always the same. But it oh, it's no fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well, Mouse. This place isn't real like you understand it. Here you are what you perceive. I think I used to be like you. Before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim, and you don't have much time before you end up the same. There's something here, contained, just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it, if you can. That's your way out, or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fade. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here. Other spirits. They will tell you more. They be help. If you can believe anything you see. I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you, you may have a way out. A dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. creature can be anywhere, but it manifests. Another spirit this way. It never seemed equal to its name to me.
Another mortal thrown into the flames and left to burn, I see. Your mages have devised a cowardly test. Better you were pitted against each other to prove your mettle with skill, than to be sent unarmed against a demon. You are not the first sent here for such testing, nor shall you be the last, I suspect. That you remain means you have not yet defeated your hunter. I wish you a glorious battle to come. Is that what your test is called? I know little of your mortal ways. I do know that a demon has been called, and told that a meal awaits. It will not, cannot leave until one of you is dead. I am Balor, a warrior spirit. I hone my weapons in search of the perfect expression of combat. They are brought into being by my will. I understand that in your world, mages are the only ones who can will things into being. Those mortals who cannot must lead such hollow, empty lives. Without a doubt. In this realm, everything that exists is the expression of a thought. Do you think these blades be steel? The staves be wood? Do you believe they draw blood? A weapon is a single need for battle. And my will makes that need reality. Do you truly desire one of my weapons? I will give one to you, if you agree to duel me first. Valor shall test your metal as it should be tested. As you wish, mortal. We battle until I am convinced you are strong enough to defeat your demon. If you do not convince me, I will slay you. Are these rules understood? Our duel begins now. Fight with valor! Strength is sufficient to the task. The staff is yours. I suspect not. Short of battling the demon for you? No. May you find glory in all your achievements, mortal.
it shall be done. Cautious, there is another spirit here. Not the one hunter. <laughs> to be a snack for me. I don't like this. He's not going to help us. We should go. <sighs> no matter. The demon will get you eventually. And perhaps there will even be scraps left. I know that you will fail your test, and he will eat you. Be gone. Surely you have better things to do than bother sloth, mortal. Oh, I tire of you already. You have a very nice staff. Why do you need me? Go. Use your weapon, since you have earned it. <laughs> Be valorous. Mm. He looks powerful. It might be possible that he could teach you to be like him. Like me? You mean, teach the mortal to take this form? <laughs> Why? Most mortals are too attached to their forms to learn the change. You, on the other hand, Little one might be a better student. You let go of the human form years ago. I don't think I'd make a very good bear. How would I hide? It's true. I am quite powerful in this form. When I wish to be. I welcome the opportunity, if it is my choice. The mages in the tower are quick to volunteer others, as you well know. I'll try. I'll try to be a bear, if you'll teach me. That's nice. But teaching is so exhausting. Away with you now. Mm. I told you he wasn't going to help us. I am a spirit of sloth, yeah, a creature of the Fade. Unlike yourself, mortals are ever the visitors here. Still, you serve your function. Only the mortals like yourself are truly annoying. Many mortals dream. They come here often, but you are not one of those. You are aware, a mortal with power and will, the sort of creature that some spirits hunger for. I might be inclined for such a meal myself. It would be interesting to see the mortal world through your eyes live inside your form. But 
I am disinclined to begin such a struggle. <laughs> Do not anger me. My inclinations can change. You wish to learn my form, little one? Then I have a challenge for your friend. Answer three riddles correctly, and I will teach you. Fail, and I will devour you both. The decision is yours. Truly? Oh. Oh, this gets more and more promising. My first riddle is this. I have seas with no water, coasts with no sand, towns without people, mountains without land. What am I? Second riddle. I'm rarely touched, but often held. If you have wit, you'll use me well. What am I? trying. Uh, the answer is a tongue. Time to feast. What a delight. Stand still, will you? This exertion. I will teach the mouse to be the bear, if only to get rid of you. Like this? Am I a bear? It feels heavy. Hmm. Close enough. Go then and uh, defeat your demon or whatever you intend to do. I grow weary of your mortal prattling. I've taught the mouse, do not persist in bothering me. I'm tired.
star. There is nothing else I can do. to me at last. Soon I shall see the land of the living with your eyes, creature. You shall be mine, body and soul. Oh, I shall. So this creature is your offering, Mouse. Another plaything as per our arrangement. arrangement. I'm not offering you anything. I don't have to help you anymore. Oh. And after all those wonderful meals we have shared, now suddenly the mouse has changed the rules. I'm not a mouse now. And soon I won't have to hide. I don't need to bargain with you. We shall see. No! Very well. Came, I hoped that maybe you might be able to, but I never really thought any of you were worthy. You made me believe in you. You're a true mage, one of the few. The others, they never had a chance. The Templars set them up to fail. Like they tried with you. I regret my part in it. But you have shown me that there is hope. You can be so much more than you know. You defeated a demon. You completed your test. With time, you will be a master enchanter with no equal. And maybe there's hope in that for someone as small and as forgotten as me. If you want to help, there may be a way for me to leave here, to get a foothold outside. You just need to want to let me in. What else is here that could harm an apprentice of your potential? <laughs> you are a smart one. Simple killing is a warrior's job. The real dangers of the Fade are preconceptions, careless trust, pride. Keep your wits about you, mage. True tests 